What would you do with a million in cash? Hey, what's up guys? I hope you are doing well and that you are fit and healthy as always. As you can see, that wall is still not painted. So that's exactly what the mission is today. Uh, going out to find some tape so I can actually like, just look like a professional on the sides and you know, the skirtings and at the bottom and the top. Then I am going for a little hike, hence the active wear. Uh, just a little walk around. I want to chat about something important today as well as uh, it's Sunday. So I'm getting a nice little treat. See what that is. So yeah, follow me. Let's see what's up. Obviously just my luck. They are closed. It's Sunday. I guess that's uh, I could have predicted that actually, <laughs> but maybe I can get some tape and pick and pay or like a normal general store. Let's see. Okay, I think I found what I was looking for. These are like, I think they are the right ones. It's either these, but like thicker. How about that? Yeah, I think this is gonna work perfectly. Wow, I'm actually very happy that I got it first shot. Like I literally walked in, I, I thought I was gonna go to pick and pay and then I saw this little crazy store that, you know, they do all these, like pens and books and like stationary stuff and boom, everything was there. All right guys, so I just arrived at Newlands Forest. This is a beautiful forest here in Cape Town. Uh, I'm gonna go and hike a little bit, but let's address the elephant in the room, right? The question, the, the title of this video, the, the thing that I wanted to ask. What, will, what would you do with the million with a million in cash, what would you do? And the main reason why I ask that is because a lot of people, you know, obviously some people immediately go to, okay, I'll buy this, I'll buy that, I'll buy this, right? But the worst thing, the worst answer that I've ever gotten from someone is when they tell me, if I won a million, I would just sit at home and do nothing. I won't go to work. I'll be off, I won't have to do anything, it'll be so relaxing, I'll just, you know, I'll just do nothing at home. And that is the topic that I want to speak about and want to touch because I think that is the worst thing and the worst way to look about uh, when you are, you know, when you win money. So let's chat about that a little bit, but first let's head up this mountain. Cheers. All right, let's talk about this for a second. If you had all the money in the world, of course that would be amazing. You can go out, you can party, you can buy whatever you want physically, like cars, houses, uh, parties, booze, whatever. You can have the best fun, you can have the best time. But eventually that will fade. Eventually you'll get to a point where you, you just had enough of that, you know? You want to have a meaning, a purpose, a mission in life. Now, it hurts me when I ask someone or when someone says like, yeah, oh, you know, if I had all the world, all the money in the world, you know, I would do nothing. And I used to do that as a kid as well. I used to tell myself like, wow, if I won the lotto, you know, if I won some cash, I would just like, I don't want to work. Why would I want to work? The main thing here is if you feel that way, then it means that you do not have a purpose. Your job, the thing that you are doing is, is, is not what you love or it's not bringing you closer to where you want to be, all right? To your goal, to your dream job. Because having a job, like what I'm doing now at the moment, making videos, helping clients lose weight, and basically eventually I wanna become a motivational speaker. That is something that I'm striving for. Yes, am I doing it right now? Am I getting paid for these videos? No, am I getting paid for motivational speaking? No. Does it mean that I stop doing it? No, because I love doing it and I do it regardless of the money. So imagine if I do make money, this would be the best thing. So if I had billions, right? Billions right now, would I still be doing what I'm doing now? And the answer is yes. I would still be doing what I'm doing now because there are people out there that need your help, whether it is in service of you know, motivation, if it's service as a doctor, maybe you are someone that fixes cars, maybe you like to paint, all those type of things. It's things that people need in their life and that is why you are here. God has gifted you with a specific gift. You need to find what that is, embrace that, whether you make money or not. So that is, that is a very big point that I wanna make about 
you know, having a lot of money or not. All right, so you have to ask yourself the question, like, what is it that you like? What do you, what is it that you do with the least amount of effort? Like something that when you, like, let's, let's say this, my, the weakest point that I was in my life where I was basically broke, I was unemployed, that was about six years ago, right? Seven years ago. Uh, I was unemployed for three months and those three months were the best months. You know why? I was stressed, totally stressed, right? But then that time that I didn't do anything, I was constantly in a desperate mode thinking of what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? And I started doing the things that I liked, you know, because I had nothing else to do. I'm not, I don't have a job. I'm not getting paid for anything. So I started doing things that I loved and that was making videos. All right. Now making videos, going to the gym, staying healthy, working on my body and on my body, waiting for an opportunity. That was something that I thought was just what needs to be done, you know, and I liked doing it. So I did it. And guess what? Now I'm making videos. I help people lose weight. I work on my body. I do modeling. And uh, yeah, basically, <laughs> like I said, I'm still not like a millionaire, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because as long as you enjoy what you're doing, then you're gonna be fine. I promise you, God will, God will give you your daily bread. Just do what you love and he will provide, I promise you. It's as easy as that. All right, so I'm back and I'm going to paint this wall. I mean, that's the whole purpose of this video, right? Uh, this morning, I'm gonna take that off, place it over here, and I'm gonna use this tape that I bought this morning to mark off like all the corners so I can get like a neat, a neat little edge. That's the most important part, so let's see if I can do that. Oh, uh, finally done with taping everything on that wall so I'm gonna start painting but before I do I'm just gonna order some takeout uh, uber eats probably gonna get a pizza I know that you well not a lot of people necessarily like Hawaiian pizza or pineapple on their pizza but that is exactly what I'm craving for today so that is exactly what I'm going to get yeah uh, I'll do that while I paint hopefully they'll come and then I'm enjoy my cheat meal all right so basically done with the corners up until the roof. So it's just basically this piece of wall in the bottom there as well. Um, now I'm gonna use the roller and we'll see how that goes. All right guys, that is it. One piece of the wall is done. It's nice and dark. I love the color, obviously I wanna see see it dry first, but this is gonna be so amazing. This is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna do this uh, for my YouTube videos as well. My lights are coming, but already you can see like the contrast. It's, it's the best color ever. So I uh, oh, just got a notification. The pizza's on its way. Let's go fetch it. Alrighty. There she is. Jeez Louise, look at that baby. Whew. Rib, pineapple with extra feta. This is gonna go down so beautifully. I've been waiting the whole day to take a bite of this. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Mm. Wow. After a hard work, working day, smashed it. Um, wait, let me put that down. So the moral of the story today basically is if you don't have a purpose in life, if you don't have a mission, like something that you are working for, then 
of course you're going to feel like you're not going to want to do anything but i promise you money is not going to make you feel good you know it's not going to it's not it's not the end all it's what you do with the money that's the most important thing having a billion rand is is you know let's say let's use um Let's use uh, Elon Musk for instance, right? Billionaire. I think it's uh, he's the second richest man in the in the world. He doesn't just sit and like chill on the beach with martinis and has this beautiful life. No, he's working every single day. Sometimes he's not even going to sleep. Like he's working 48 hours, 80 hour weeks. You know, he's constantly working. Why? Because he wants to better the world. He wants to be he wants to leave a legacy. He wants to help the planet and the people when he's gone. You understand? So there must be a purpose. There must be something that you want to do. So don't say that you, you know, want to just chill when you make money. That's that's for me. That's basically what this whole video was about. And obviously, I was just doing some some walk around and showing you what I do on a Sunday. Um, but yeah, the wall is painted. I'm super stoked with that. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of, the, of this video. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me anything about what happened today. Uh, also, please like and subscribe. Uh, it does help with the algorithm if you like that button. Uh, comment down below if you have any statements, anything, any questions, anything. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. See how I will, because <laughs> I still need to literally paint that whole wall and this one in front of me here, which is massive. And I mean, that already took like half a day because I'm not a painter I'm like the worst painter but as you can see like the bottom skirtings it looks amazing it worked when I peel it off and everything works so have a beautiful day we'll chat soon